big welcome to all Beulil Academy pupils and not only that but also all pupils across Concilium Academy Trust. This is our second Key Stage 4 science lesson and today we're going to be calculating the percentage mass of an element in a compound. Now we can only really do this if you've completed lesson 1. So if you haven't done that you need to go back and calculate lesson 1 which is all relative uh, formula mass. This lesson is relevant to all pupils in year 10 and 11 and anybody studying GCSE Combined Science and GCSE Chemistry. You're going to need some paper and a pen and a calculator to complete today's lesson. And before we can start on today's lesson, really what I want to do is look back at the last lesson and see what you can remember. So what I'd like you to do is there are two compounds on the screen, CO2 and C2H5OH, and using the masses on the screen, I'd like you to calculate their relative uh, formula mass. So pause the video now and we'll check in a second. Okay, so the relative formula mass of CO2, C is equal to 12, O is equal to 16, but there are two of them, so that's 32, so the answer is 44. And C2H5OH, if we add everything together, we get the answer of 46. Well done if you can do that. If you're still a little unsure on that, you may want to look at that first lesson again before you try to complete this lesson. I'm not going to lie, that is the best looking pepperoni pizza I think I've ever seen. And we're going to use that picture and the mass of that pizza as an analogy really for us to calculate the percentage mass of an element in a compound. Okay, so if you understand this, you've got a really good chance of uh, being successful in today's lesson. That base of that pizza, if we were to take its mass, we're going to say that it's equal to 40 grams. We're going to say that all the cheese on that pizza is equal to 30 grams. The pepperoni, 25 grams, and anything else in there, so the herbs and a bit of tomato and, and the peppers, maybe the chilies, comes to 15 grams. So if we want the whole mass of that pizza, we just have to add those things together. And if we add those together, the pizza's mass is 110 grams. Okay, so the whole thing equals 110 grams. But what if I ask you this question and I said, that pizza then, what percentage of that pizza does the cheese make up? Well, it ain't 50%, because if it was 50%, it'd actually be 55 grams, wouldn't it? And we can see that the cheese only equals 30 grams. So there's a little calculation we can use to help us. And it goes like this. If we take the cheese mass, and we divide it by the pizza's mass and then times it by 100, we can find out the percentage of that pizza that the cheese makes up. Okay, so let's work it through. The cheese mass is 30 and we divide it by 110 and then times it by 100. And the answer we get is 27.3%. So the cheese makes up 27.3% of that pizza. Okay, hold that in mind, because we're not going to use cheese, we're not going to use bases, we're not going to use pepperoni in a second, we're going to use the mass of elements. Okay, so here's what the question would look like on a GCSE exam. The question says, calculate the percentage mass of oxygen in CaCO3. The oxygen is the cheese, and the CaCO3 is the whole pizza. And what we're looking to find is what percentage of that CaCO3 does the oxygen make up? Also in the question, you get the masses like you did in lesson one. So how do we work it out? If you remember, it was cheese divided by pizza. So on this occasion, it's going to be oxygen divided by CaCO3. And then we're going to times it by 100 to get it into a percentage. Now, what I want you to just look on the screen is the question says oxygen, and then in brackets, it will say, oh, but in CaCO3, we've actually got three atoms of oxygen. So if you look, it says O3 divided by CaCO3. Uh, okay, so let's follow it through. O3 is 3 sixteens, would be 48. And CaCO3 is 40 and 12 and 48, which equals 100. So the answer to this question is going to be 48, which is the oxygen, divided by 100, which is the CaCO3, and then times it by 100 to get it into a percentage. And on this occasion, it's dead simple. The answer is 48%. Now, what you might want to do, 
is you might want to pause the screen and you might want to write that down on a piece of paper as an example, as a method if you like, to help you answer the questions that we're going to do in a, in a second. So why don't you do that now? This next question asks you to calculate the percentage mass of carbon in C3H8. So before you start, just be careful, there are three carbons in C3H8. So pause the video now, write down your full working out, and we'll check your answer in a short while. Okay, so there are three carbons. So it's going to be C3 divided by C3H8, and then we times it by 100 to get a percentage. So it would be 36 divided by 44 times 100, and then that would give us an answer of 81.8%. Well done if you managed to do that correctly. If you didn't, maybe you want to pause the video again and go over it and see if you can get the right answer on your own. Time for some practice then. There are three compounds on the screen. We've got H2SO4, HNO3, NaOH, and each of those compounds has oxygen in them. So what I'd like you to do is you're treating them as three separate questions. I'd like you to calculate the percentage mass of oxygen in each of those compounds and the full list of masses that you need are on the screen. So pause the video now. As always, show your full working out and we'll check your work in a short while. Okay, so H2SO4, the correct answer is 65.3%. For HNO3, the answer is 76.2%. And for NaOH, the answer is 40%. So as we can see on the screen that HNO3 has the greatest percentage by mass of oxygen inside its compound. Well done everybody, that's the end of the lesson. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you feel much more confident in calculating the percentage mass of an element in a compound. If you do need any extra help then visit the BBC Bite Size website and there is some help on there and some questions that you can complete on there too. Please don't uh, forget to follow us on Buell Hill uh, Science on Instagram. We'll be dropping a challenge on, on our Instagram page later in the week. Please try to take part in that and please share your responses with us. Take care, everybody. Look after yourselves.